and we're back with more of our radicals unit. So we've learned how to simplify radicals and we've learned how to add and subtract radicals. So this video we're going to be talking about how to multiply radicals. When you multiply radicals, uh, let's take a very simple example. Let's say radical 9 times radical 4. Can I simply multiply the two numbers inside the radicals and get radical 36? What do you think? What's radical 9? 3? What's radical 4? 2? What does that equal? 6. Is that the square root of 36? Sure is. So what are we saying? We're saying that if, well, let's write it in algebra form. Radical A times radical B equals radical A times B. That is a perfectly acceptable thing to do. Now remember when I talked about adding and subtracting that you could not do this. Can't do this. Okay, but you can do that. So let's put a big red, red X through this to remind you that that is not acceptable. Can't do it. But for multiplication, you sure can. Which makes multiplication kind of easy, sort of. Okay? Um, so if I had radical 2 times radical 3, what would be my answer? Pretty simple, right? That was easy. Radical 2 times radical 3 is radical 6. Okay, let's look at something a little more complicated. What if I had radical 8 times radical 10? There are a couple of ways to do this problem. Method number one is to go ahead and just multiply them together. Radical 80 and then reduce. Simplify, please. Always simplify if you can. 2 times 40. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay? And then we want to reduce this or we want to simplify it. So we're going to pull out a pair of 2's. And we're going to pull out another pair of 2's here. We're going to pull one outside. So that is 4 radical 5 is my answer. Okay? Is there another way to do this? Sure. We could simplify radical 8 to begin with, couldn't we? If we simplify radical 8 to begin with, 2 times 2 times 2, pull out one of the 2's, I get 2 radical 2 times radical 10, okay? I get 2 times 1, which is 2, and then radical 2 times radical 10 is radical 20. But then I'm just going to have to simplify radical 20, aren't I? What's radical 20? Radical 20 is 2 times 2 times 5, isn't it? Pull out a 2, and I get the same answer, which is 4 radical 5. So, does it matter which way you do it? No, really doesn't, whether you multiply them first or simplify them first. Because many times, even when you simplify them first, you're still going to have to simplify again. I tend to just multiply them right away um, and simplify at the end. I just think it stays a step here and there. One thing I absolutely want you to notice, though, is what I did right here. And that is, you can only multiply things that are outside the radical with each other and things that are inside the radical with each other. Please do not multiply things that are outside a radical times things that are inside a radical. You cannot go on either side of that radical sign. Things that are outside the radical can be multiplied together. Things that are inside the radical can be multiplied together. Okay, there's a special case of this that I want to point out because it's going to make our lives a whole lot simpler coming up. And that is this. What's radical 3 times radical 3? Well, our rule says that's radical 9, isn't it? But what's radical 9? Radical 9 is 3, isn't it? What's radical 5 times radical 5? That's radical 25, which is 5, isn't it? So what am I telling you? Let's write, a, let's write an algebra rule for it. Radical A times radical A is A. A radical times itself simply eliminates the radical sign. could also write it this way, too. Okay? When we multiply a radical times itself, it eliminates the radical. So if I had radical X times radical X, that would be X. 
radical 10 times radical 10 is 10. You don't need to do any special math there. If you multiply radical times itself, it simply eliminates the radical sign. Okay, so let's go ahead and become, get a little more advanced here, do some more complicated problems. That's all there is to actually the multiplication part of it. Now we just need to do quite a few problems just so we can make sure we understand what we're doing. Okay, uh, let's say, how about this one? We've got 4 radical 6 times negative 2 radical 10. Now in this case there really is only one way to do it because neither radical 6 nor radical 10 can be simplified. Those are as simplified as they can get. There are no pairs. This is 2 times 3 under here. This is 2 times 5 under here. So those actually can't be simplified any more than they are. So we can't do anything other than simply multiply them together. So we're going to multiply this 4 times the negative 2. Again, multiply things that are outside the radical together and then things that are inside. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then 6 times 10 gives me radical 60. But again, you almost, always, always must look to make sure you can simpl whether you can simplify any radicals in your answer. So I've got negative 8. What's radical 60? Radical 60 is 4 times 15. Okay, again we're looking for pairs because we're doing square roots. So there's a pair of 2's right there, so we're going to pull a 2 outside. Negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. Radical, what's left over on the inside? 15. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? So again, you can multiply things that are together under a radical and multiply things that are outside a radical together. Don't cross the radical sign and then just make sure your answer has been completely simplified and if you multiply a radical by itself it just eliminates the radical sign let's get a little more complicated shall we how about this let me move my paper up here a little bit there we go how about we do negative 4 radical 3 times 2 minus 3 radical 6 a little more complicated, isn't it? But I hope you can see what you're need, going to need to be able to do. If we're multiplying something by two things here in the parentheses, what do you have to do here? Distribute. You sure do. Okay, so what have we got? We've got negative 4 radical 3 times 2. That's our first. Okay, and then got to multiply that negative 4 radical 3 times the negative Oops, no, but we've already done the negative there, haven't we? 3 radical 6. Oh, negative 3 radical 6 right there. Okay. We can either put the negative one place. You know what? Let's just make this a negative. Get rid of that negative there. I don't want to confuse you. Okay. So we're multiplying. Let's take a look at what we did. We multiplied this times this first, that's here, and then we multiplied this times that. There it is. Okay, now we just need to do our multiplication. And remember, don't multiply things that are out, multiply things that are outside a radical together, whole numbers, and multiply inside radicals together. So what have we got here? We've got negative 4 times 2, that's not under a radical, so negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, and there's nothing to multiply the radical 3 by, so that's just plain old radical 3, right? We can only multiply this negative 4 times the 2, because that 2 is outside the radical. It's not under a radical sign. And then what do we got here? We've got minus, minus, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and then radical 3 times radical 6 is radical 18. Okay, looks like we're going to have to do some simplifying here. Let's go ahead and take care of that negative negative first. Subtracting a minus gives me a plus 12 radical 18. Can either of these be simplified? Well, that one sure can't, but this one can. There's a 9 in there, so I know I can simplify that. So I've got negative 8 radical 3 plus 12, and what's 18? That's 2 times 9, isn't it? There's a pair of 3's. Pull the 3 out. 
I've got negative 8 radical 3 plus 36 radical 2. There we go. Okay. Does that work? Sure does. Sure does. Okay. Let's do another one, shall we? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do a let's do one with foiling. I've got 4 plus 3 radical 5 times 3 plus 2 radical 5. I hope you can see that we're going to have to foil that. And you all remember how to foil, right? Sure you do. Firsts, outside, inside, last. Okay, so let's look at our first. 4 times 3 is 12. Outside, 4 times 2 radical 5 is 8 radical 5, isn't it? can't multiply the 2 times the inside. All I can do is multiply the outside times the outside. Okay? 3 radical 5 times 3 is 9 radical 5, isn't it? And then our last bit here is these last terms. That's 3 radical 5 times 2 radical 5. Well, we just talked about that. We said that if you multiply a radical by itself, it just gets rid of the radical sign. When we do 3 times 2, we get 6 times Radical 5 times radical 5 is 5. Your answer is 30. So this is plus 30 on the end. Okay? Like terms, 12 plus 30 is 42. Plus 8 radical 5 plus 9 radical 5 is 17 radical 5. Did you follow that? I hope you did. Shouldn't be too bad. So that's multiplying radicals. Our next video is going to be about dividing radicals. Okay? Thanks. Bye.